Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this video, we're gonna paint a chickadee on a branch with some berries and acrylic paint. So let's get started. And I wanna start with a size eight flat brush. This is a pretty large flat brush. I'm actually gonna spray my paper first. Just a couple sprays with a fine mist sprayer. And I wanna mix a light shade of gray. So I've got a little bit of a pre-mixed gray and then I have this zinc white, which is a mixing white. And let's see if we can mix up a light shade of gray and then apply that onto the canvas. So we just want a really nice light base color. You can see how the water on the paper it's kind of lightening the paint as we go. And zinc white is good for mixing because it's transparent, unlike titanium white, which is opaque. Okay, I'm doing all of the areas and if you want to get this sketch, you can download it in the link in the description. Okay, so just a nice gray base and we'll rinse the brush and we'll let that dry. And while that's drying, let's pick up another brush. I have a size zero round brush. And I want to put in some color for the branch. And I have just a chocolatey brown craft paint that I'm going to use for the branch. Just try to pop that in. Just carefully go around these toes here. Then I'm hoping that the paint kind of dilutes as we go along because there's less paint on the brush, so it should get lighter. And that'll give us a little bit of variety in value. And then we'll let that dry. Actually, let's take a little bit of brown, that same brown paint, and then go over these branches here that connect to the berries and the leaves. And I'm using a pretty stiff brush and that's helping me get some pretty exact lines. It just gives me a little bit more control when the brush is stiff. And then let's see if we could put in the toes of the bird with this beige color. I think beige is a good color to paint the feet of birds because their feet are kind of translucent almost. Okay, and then let's put in some red for the berries. And I'm gonna stick with the same brush. So I have a lighter this is a primary red. You could also use an alizarin crimson, or if you have like an orange red color, you could use that. I'm gonna spray my canvas again. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water. So I want this to be kind of transparent, the first layer for the berries because I like the way the color looks on that white paper, kind of has a glow to it. And I usually kind of let a little bit of that show through to give some dimension. Okay, and I'm trying to be pretty clean with the edges. It's almost like a watercolor effect. 
looks really pretty. All right, and then I can let that dry. Let's move on to the leaves here. I'll use the same brush and I have this really pretty moss green, which is another craft paint. And let's try to put that in, just kind of press down and lift up to get a nice base layer for the leaf. Okay, and then we can let that dry. And I'm gonna use the, keep with the same brush. Let's take some of this beige and put in the beak. Okay. And then let's work with some darker values on the bird. So I can take that straight black and put in the center of the eye. And actually, I'm going to switch to some of this darker value of gray paint. So that's the gray paint without any dilution. And I want to do just a little bit of shading, staying with that same brush. This is a good brush to kind of make feathers because it's so stiff. It's going to kind of leave some lines in the paint. So I'm just kind of doing a second layer and this is our little bit of a darker tone here. So we're going a step down on the value scale and I like to use that to kind of give dimension and form to the object. Okay, so we could put maybe a little bit of shadow over here. And I could maybe go around the eye, carefully go around that eye. Okay, now let's take, we could take some black and mix a little bit of gray. And then let's put some of that on the cap here. Just kind of feathering my brush strokes. Kind of giving the illusion of the texture of those feathers. Then I'm gonna put some of this in the, the wing area. They have kind of, it's kind of like um, stripes. And I'm just going to define kind of the lines of that sketch there so we don't lose those lines. And we can go inside the tail with some of that darker gray as well. Okay, I want to take, I want to very carefully go around that eye with some of this beige paint. I'm rolling the brush a little bit just to kind of shape my brush into a point. Then carefully go around that eye. I like the shape that I did, so I don't want to lose that shape. Okay, so let's let that dry. Well, that's drying. I want to put a little bit darker value into the branch so we can mix a little bit of brown with the black. And then just add a little bit of a shadow, some texture. You can kind of put it mostly on the bottom of that branch. Try to make it look kind of random. Add some to the bottom areas. You could shadow along where the feet of the bird are as well a little bit of a darker brown. Okay, and then let's take some of this dark green. This is like an evergreen shade. And let's put that, put that here on the leaf. 
Just making a little bit of a shadow on the leaf. Okay. And then rinse your brush off and let's put some shadows on the berries. So I have this maroon color and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the alizarin crimson, which is a shade of red. And let's try to put that in just as a nice shadow. So I'm kind of thinking about where the lighter part is and where the sun might be hitting the berries. And that's gonna help inform me of where to put that shadow. Okay, and you can see how just a simple little change in value can really help you make an object look three-dimensional. Okay, and then I might pop in a highlight, so I'll take a little bit of white. And then I'm just gonna put a little dot and that's just gonna be the highlights for the berries. Okay, and you don't have to do any more detail than that. Okay, let's move back to the face of the bird. I'm gonna take some dark brown and see if I can kind of shape the beak a little bit. Put a line in the center and a little bit on either side. And then I could take a damp brush and try to blend that a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take some white paint, try to go around the eye. And we want a little tiny dot in that eye it's really small, so I'm going to get a smaller brush and take that very tiny tip. Make sure I don't have too much paint on the end of it. And then let's see if we could put a tiny little dot for the highlight in the eye. Okay, that's good. It can be a little tricky to do because you just want a tiny little bit. Okay, so... Let's put in some white here. So I'm gonna take just a straight white titanium, which is your opaque white. And let's put in some feathers here. So you wanna kinda do layers. You could do, I'm not going all the way down from the top to the bottom. I'm doing almost like rows here of feathers. Okay, and then Put some white up here. And then we'll put, there's not really any in the tail, so we won't put them, put any white there. Just kind of putting in feathers. And then this part of the chickadee has a lot of white, so you can add that. Okay, I might put a little bit of a highlight up here on his cap, just a few strokes. Okay, and now we kind of just dance with some lighter and darker values. So I'll take some of that black, mix it up with the gray, and then I want a little bit more of a dark area down here. Okay, I want his tail to be pretty dark, so we'll take a straight black and add the black to that tail. Thinking about my brush strokes here, I want them to show, so I want them to be expressive and just really make the shape that I want to achieve in the final look. Gonna taper this down 
And then let's put some more black around the eye. Trying to get quite a bit of paint. And just make this black around the eye that really defines this particular bird. A little chickadee. Come up a little bit more here. And we might bring this all the way down. Okay, so at this point, I would probably step back and look at your work, see how things are looking, see what you might want to change or adjust if anything I might try to get a little bit closer around that eye okay that looks good then I might take a little white just feather in this area okay so let's take a little bit of I have a beige color here and let's try to put that in and I'm using the same kind of feathering type of strokes here I'm going on top of the white and I want to go on the left and the right side and then just kind of keep the center nice and white so just put that on those two sides And actually, we could even feather some of that up here around the face. Okay, so then let's take some white, titanium white, and we'll just do kind of a finishing touch here. Just making those nice expressive feather shapes. Going over the black. Okay, and then I might just clean this area up over here I'm going to take the black, just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so I think we'll call that complete. Um, that's just a fun little chickadee painting that you can do. He's semi-realistic. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.